And welcome back. Well, Youth from the South Bronx has partnered up with NYCHA and Synchro Pro Film Crew, documenting the work that they have done in their short film, Stand Strong to Make Change. And here to tell us a little bit more about it is David Soto and Carmen Roman from the, who's actually community coordinators at NYCHA, Brianna Gutierrez and Atiba Smart from the South Bronx Youth Leadership Council. And we welcome them all today to the show. And uh, good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's talk about this here, because in the community, there's a lot that we have to deal with in terms of violence. And I know you guys wanted to tackle this. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about what was behind the making of this. I mean, uh, just yesterday I saw on the news young people attacking a bus driver. I don't know if you saw that on the mm -hmm. news. Um, these types of situations are what our young people have concerns with. So we had some conversations with them back in 2016. And they talked about safety being the concern and anti-violence being the campaign. Mm -hmm. So under the umbrella of the anti-violence campaign, we've done everything from greening days, you know, events throughout the community, and we thought we'd document the process, hence Stand Strong, Make Change, the film. Mm -hmm. Atiba, tell us a little about the film. Uh, okay, so the film that we created was basically about, like, what goes on in our community and whether or not we feel safe or not. And like just the insight of basically like what goes on in the teen mind when they're living in a NYCHA New York City environment. Mm -hmm. And Brianna, what do you want people to take away from the film after they watch it? A big takeaway is that, you know, although we may live in the, under these circumstances, everybody could come together and if we stand strong, there is ways that this could be better. Everybody's mindset is completely different. And if nobody comes together, there's no real communication. With communication, we can all host more events. It could be more unity. And that's just what the whole documentary is about, coming mm -hmm. together to stand strong and make change. And Carmen, obviously a great partnership between both you guys and the youth. And uh, Talk to me about what it feels like being able to address this issue that really is going on not just in the South Bronx, Manhattan, <laughs> the five boroughs, and literally across our country. Um, not to sound too cliche, but it's very much uh, an opportunity to experience hope again, to really watch the young people go through that year as, uh, as you see in the film, uh, the changes that are actually happening amongst the South Bronx Youth Leadership Council themselves is uh, pretty profound and it's impactful. And we're hoping that the young people uh, featured in the film will attract other young people to inspire them also to make the change throughout the city. What happens from here after the film, now the film's been shot, so? Uh, the, well, we premiered the film June 15th, this Friday, at Mount Haven Library. Library. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're gonna premiere the film. I think part of the process is not only filming, but the premiere is bringing in all the partners. It's basically the safety net that have been working with our young people. We get and for them to interact, discuss. meet each other, network, um, show our young people that they have adult support in our community, so mm -hmm. that's important. And Atiba, what do you want people, I, I asked Brianna about mm -hmm. the takeaway, but what do you want, what are you hoping that people get out of this? I'm hoping, I'm not, not necessarily people, I want like teens to understand like you can join your community, you can go to the library, you can have events that you can come to, there's safe places, safe havens where you can come because in the South Bronx, statistics show that there's a lot of violence even though it is. So we want to get the kids into programs where they don't have to be outside doing things that they're not supposed to, but positive things that's going to help them pursue their futures into whatever they may want to do. And we have shirts to give any of the kids who want to join our program. Mm -hmm. This is our shirt it's that okay. we created. Okay, part of this. Okay, <laughs> together we go yeah. strong. Okay, together yeah. we go strong. Uh -huh. yeah. That's awesome. And so for kids, I mean, what's the message that you share with, 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 with youngsters today? Um... Don't do anything dumb. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and just always keep your head on the right path. Um, nowadays, there's so many wrong things that you could do, and it's so easy to do wrong. Mm -hmm. Just keep a positive mindset, and with that, you'll make it very far. And as we said, the film, uh, you can check it out this week uh, on Friday, June 15th, and you can be, have an opportunity to see it. But I want to ask you, how long did it take to do, and, 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 and what was that like? <laughs> uh, a grueling process. Um, first of all, we, you know, no funding. Right. So we had to find a partner, thanks to Synchro Pro, who came on board and, you know, gave us the family discount. Right. Um, so, yeah, it was just, a, it took about a year and a half to make, and then the editing process as well. So we had to re refund the project. 
Um, but it's been an amazing, you know, um, journey with our young people. Um, and I just also want to add that we have youth leadership councils around the city, as mm -hmm. NYCHA's really been working with our young people, and we want to make sure we keep them engaged and connecting them to resources. Well, yeah. definitely a great partnership, and I want to wish you the best with the film, and hopefully a lot of people to come on out, but most of all, have a conversation about, you know, this violence that continues to plague our communities, and uh, thank you so much for coming and sharing with us. Thanks for having us. All right, thank you. all right. Well, listen. We're going to leave them here for a quick second because we're going to have to take a quick break. We're going to change them off. We're going to bring on another guest. We're going to have more open, so stay with us. We're coming right back. Right. <laughs>